Hello, kindergarten scholars. How are you guys doing today? Give me a thumbs up if you're having a great day. Wonderful. Um, some of you guys don't know me. My name is Miss Crawford. I teach kindergarten in Texas Tech. So shout out to my Texas Tech team. Hello, how are you? And hello to Northeastern. Hello to my friends in Rochester and my friends in Johnson and Wales. I'm so excited to get to learn with you. I'm here today to bring to you, straight to you, a brand new science unit. We are gonna be talking about forces and motion. Forces are what make things move and motions are how they move. Can you move? Can you move your fingers? Can you move your arms? Can you move your toes? Yeah, we can all make things move. We can make our bodies move. We can even make objects move. And today, we are gonna be talking about how we can make things move with our minds. I'm just kidding. We can't make things move with our minds. We're not that talented. But we are gonna learn how we can make things move by either pushing them or pulling them. When you're pushing something, you're pushing it away from you. And when you're pulling something, you're pulling it, you're grabbing it, you're bringing it toward you. Oh, like you're pulling on a rope. So I have some handy dandy household items here. Um, I'm stuck at home for a couple of days, so I don't have any awesome toys to be working with. So I have well, I guess I do have some toys. Um, I stole some of my dog, Momo. I stole one of his toys. Um, this is Frida Kahlo Squirrel Edition. Um, and don't tell him I, do, I have this. His tennis ball. I also have a couple of other household items. I have a, oh, a pumpkin. And I have, oh, a plant and I need to make these things move. Now I told you that when we wanna make things move, we can either push them, push them away from us or pull them towards us. And my goal is to get my items from here, my green sign right here where it says start, all the way here to my red sign that says stop. Now we're gonna try and use a couple of different forces to move these items. We're gonna try pushing, and we are going to try pulling. Now we're gonna try the first item here, which is the ball. Now how am I going to move this ball? Do you think I could just move it with my mind like I tried earlier? Let's try our mind. All right, let's move ball. <sighs> All right, well, I can't use my mind. Let's try pushing it. Let's see. Oh, that was so easy. Oh, but my push wasn't big enough. I couldn't get it all the way there. Let me try a little bit of a bigger push. Ready? Get that ball back at the starting lineup and give it a push. Woo! Went all the way to the other room. All right, so an easy push for that ball. I wonder if that will work for my pumpkin. Let's grab that pumpkin. Let's see, do you guys think I can push this pumpkin? Like I pushed that ball? No, why not? Well, yeah, I guess you're right. It is pretty heavy. I picked up that ball pretty easily. Let's see if I give, give it a good push. That'll work. Well, I pushed it over. Did it go very far? Yeah, I gotta give it even a bigger push. That makes me a little bit nervous. Let me try a bigger push. I'll put it on its side. Let's see. Oh, a big push will work. Huh. I wonder if that will work with Frida Kahlo, the Squirrel. Let's see if a push works with Frida. Ah, perfect. 
Now I got one more household item for us, and it is my plant. Now let's see if using a plant will work. Oh no, we have an intruder. Get out of here, intruder. Here, go get Frida Kahlo the squirrel. Now we need to figure out how, excuse you, how we can move this plant and get it all the way over there. Let's try a push. Well, I have to keep on pushing it. It's not as easy. I have to keep on pushing it. Well, that works. I'm pushing it away. But I can't. I, my, my, my goal is all the way over there. I can't push it any further if I stay over here. So I actually, I think I'm gonna have to get up and either push it some more, or we can try another form of motion. We're gonna get Momo out of here while we do that too. Come here, Mom. All right, now that Momo's out of here, and we're over on the other side of our plant, we're gonna try pulling. That means when we bring it toward us. We tried to push it all the way, it didn't work. So let's try pulling. Let's try pulling it. Oh, sorry, I got an itch. All right, we're gonna try pulling ugh, this plant. Urgh. All right, I'm gonna pull it towards me. Urgh. That's working pretty well. Whew. And we did it. All right, my friends. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you and try, I want you to try pushing or pulling something of your own. I want you to set some, some, some space up for yourself. I want you to try and get a toy from point A, like your start to point B, to your stop. How can you move that item? We can't use our brains. Can you push your toy or do you need to pull it? Is it super heavy? Do you have to give it a big push? Or do you have to give it a little push? I think you guys are gonna find some really cool ways to make your items move. Give it a push or a pull and let me and your teachers know how you moved your object. Okay, my friends, have fun experimenting and I will see you soon for another Forces in Motion lesson. Goodbye, kindergartners.